Hello, this is uh, my project, Arduino project, which is a Bluetooth phone app using the RDA5807 FM radio module. This is a radio module, and this, on the, the controller, we're going to use the TT Go T display, which is an ESP32. You just connect the wiring. I show you the wiring. This is the the positive. The um, it's only four wires controlling it, uh, which is includes the positive and negative. The SCL for the I two C is connected to the SCL a special SCL pin on the TD Go T display. The SDA, which is a serial data of the I2C, is connected to the serial data. Just change that to pink, that's my favorite color. The SDA of the of the ESP thirty two TD go. The ground is connected to the ground, the common ground. And the same ground is connected to the right and left speakers. These need to be connected to an amplifier. Okay. And we need an antenna. Just put the antenna in. That's the antenna pin. Very small chip that's very difficult to connect. This module, this radio module. Okay, this is the the entire circuit, except for the right and left audio and the the power, obviously, which is through the USB part. This is the Arduino code. First, we start off with the Bluetooth seal, which is being controlled by Bluetooth. Arduino header, the wire header, the radio data header, the screen control, and the these are the the graphics. Of, uh, there's the EQ graphic, the speaker graphic and the traffic light graphics it's all on the screen of the TT Go yeah. you set the the serial bluetooth to as the name serial BT and the initialize the radio this is the the list of presets radio stations these are my presets you'll have to change these to your local your locality there's 11 of them we only use 10 i've used 12 just in case it over it just in, just in case it uh, uh, it goes above the boundaries yeah what you do is you multiply it by get the frequency and multiply it by 100 and um, you get the the data you multiply by 100 you don't have any decimal points in it the action is the pointer to the stations this is from the bluetooth um, example 
um, it actually scans the Bluetooth. To, it, it gives you the the findings on the on the serial monitor of what is found on the Bluetooth. Just I, I've left it in um, just in case that um, it's necessary. I don't. I didn't know. Uh, it's just so you can monitor the Bluetooth. I've named the the channel TT Go Radio. You have to look for that on your mobile phone when you've installed the app. You on the Bluetooth um, station. This is the um, initialize the screen. Set the screen rotation to three. Set the swap bytes to true. Fill the screen with black. Have the font which is white on black and the, the font size which is five. The text size. Initialize the radio and the band the radio is on. And initialize the initial station which is I've used 91.1 .1, which is 9110. You can put that to anything you like, change it. I've printed 91.1 .1 on the Bluetooth, on the, the, the screen, and on the Bluetooth um, screen as well, on the app. This reads the data from the app the blue, over Bluetooth. If it's less than 11 then it's a preset station and it does the preset station um, routine it um, as as presets go um, it they're all the same uh, it just needs one one routine for the presets if it's not um, this printer on this on on the screen of the app and on the Bluetooth on the TD go if it's if it's greater than 10 then it's either volume up and down it's seek up and down or it's switch off this is the button when you press the scan button after after you seek it it actually prints out the radio station of the, the station it's found this part of the uh, code tells you uh, it just shows graphics on the screen of the TD go traffic lights EQ and speaker so as well as the the station frequency you've got certain graphics going on as well because basically it, once once you found a frequency the process has got nothing else to do so it just loops continuously so in the loop we printed some graphics just to give it something to do I just scroll that down a bit there you go the frame count is for the graphics and this is a, a subroutine for for as a frame counter for the graphics and that's a loop for the bluetooth the bluetooth um, discovery right I think that's it. The all these these um, can be downloaded from the project hub. Um, I'll give you the link at the bottom at, in the description. 
I'll show you the this is the Bluetooth app but you but you the the screen of the Bluetooth app it gives you the when you connect it gives you the the um, the connect symbol and this is the on and off well it's the off any other button will turn it on that is where the frequency is displayed these are the scan buttons down and up this is the the 10 presets that we had in our program it uh, it'll select any one of the 10 except number north number north is 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 um is not selected so it's one to ten as well as number north if you understand this is the um the, the volume buttons up and down that's the app will be on the project hub this is what it looks like um the tt go it's quite a it's quite nice multi-function well multi-color screen thank you thank you very much